Hello, everybody, and welcome to our webinar, Homeschooling and Series Nonfiction. I am Ronnie Curry, a senior editor over at Booklist. And before we begin, I will go over a little bit of housekeeping. Links to today's slide presentation and title list were included in a reminder email that you received from Zoom one hour ago. If you'd like to download them, you can open that email, scroll to the bottom and click on the links located there. You can also download the slides and title list by typing the URLs on this screen into your web browser. If you have any trouble accessing these materials, you can contact us at webinars at booklistonline.com. If you're in the audience, you are in listen-only mode, but we definitely welcome any questions that you may have. So on the bottom of your screen is a toolbar with a button for Q&A. So if you have a question, if you need technical assistance, just click Q&A and you can type your message into the box that pops up. We will do our best to respond to all of the tech-related questions, and we can pass along all other questions to the panelists, and they'll be able to follow up with you after the webinar. Booklist uh, does offer closed captioning on our webinars, so to enable or disable captions on your screen, please look for and click the captions icon on the toolbar that I mentioned before at the bottom. From there, you can select show or hide captions from the menu that appears. If you choose to enable subtitles, you can adjust the size of the captions at any time by selecting caption settings. And finally, we expect all participants to maintain an atmosphere of respect and anyone who violates that standard of behavior, of course, uh, may at the discretion of the organizers be removed. And today, we have the pleasure of hearing from Dina Sherman, the School and Library Marketing Director at Disney Publishing, Maisha Johnson, Manager of Educational and Event Marketing at Scholastic, Carolina Schwartz, a consultant at We the Content, and Anna Erickson, Vice President of Sales at The Creative Company. And first up, we will hear from Dina Sherman. Dina has been the School and Library Marketing Director at Disney Publishing since 2009. Prior to that, she was the School and Library Senior Marketing Manager at HarperCollins Children's Books. Dina received her MLS from the University of Pittsburgh and worked as a children's librarian for 10 years, first at the Carnegie Library of Pittsburgh, then at the Brooklyn Children's Museum as a librarian, Dina wrote reviews for School Library Journal and wrote articles and presented on the topic of museum and library collaborations. Thank you so much for joining us, Dina. Thanks, Ronnie. Hi, everyone. I'm so excited to share some great nonfiction titles today from National Geographic Kids, as well as a few new fiction titles from both Nat Geo and Disney Publishing. Uh, for those of you who don't know, National Geographic is part of Disney Publishing now, so we're thrilled to have them. All right, first up, nonfiction. Mysterious Marvelous Octopus is a playful book that introduces young readers to the fascinating world of octopuses, or octopi, it's both, I looked it up, <laughs> apparently they're both right, big and small, ink squirting and shape-shifting all around the planet. Lyrical poetry is paired with informational sidebars, perfect for a charming bedtime read or for pouring over for in-depth octopus info, say that 10 times fast. Gorgeous photos of real octopuses give kids an up-close and personal glimpse of these sensational cephalopods, from the utterly adorable Dumbo octopus to the stunning blue-ringed octopus and their incredible habitats and body parts. Can't Get Enough Cat Stuff has everything cat-crazy kids could want. Mind-blowing facts, tons of breeds, super fun games, hands-on activities, hilarious cat jokes, and fascinating research, such as how cats manage to almost always land on their feet. Key features include articles on surprising cat research and hands-on accounts from experts, hilarious cat jokes, detailed diagrams and infographics, hands-on activities you can try at home, and quizzes and games to test your knowledge, and so much more. This second edition of Ultimate Bugopedia, the last one came out over 10 years ago, has been expanded and is buzzing, see what I did there, with the latest information on all the wild, wacky, cool, and creepy insects and spiders that kids love. 
reviewed by an expert in the field of entomology and featuring completely updated facts and figures, not to mention the amazing Nat Geo photography. Um, although these photos of bugs play into all of my phobias, so I'm not gonna look at the screen too much. <laughs> Parents, teachers, and young readers can be sure they're getting the latest and greatest information on all things bugs. Now, if you know kids who are as obsessed with sharks as I am, I never miss Shark Week um, or Shark Fest. I've got, we've got you covered. <laughs> Discover amazing facts about the planet's many species of sharks, from bizarre frilled shark to the wide-headed hammerhead. Marvel at amazing fossils of prehistoric sharks, learn exactly how many pointed teeth are in each predator's mouth, and discover fun facts. I was going to say fin facts, but that would be too many puns, right? Such as the reasoning behind the angel shark's name. Read about new technologies inspired by sharks and find out what conserv conservationists are doing to help save this often misunderstood creature that is a vital part of the ocean's ecosystem. After this deep dive into the watery world of sharks, you'll be able to dazzle your friends and family with your newfound knowledge. Oh, I forgot we have a slide there, thank you. Think fast, you've been transported back in time to the golden age of piracy, a time when fearsome captains like Barbarossa and Blackbeard make the rules. Do you have what it takes to sail through this ruthless world of cutthroats and renegades and live to tell the tale? In How to Survive in the Age of Pirates, you'll learn how to prepare for such pitfalls or avoid them entirely. You'll find a rogues gallery to help you recognize the most fearsome pirates so you can stay out of their way or outsmart them, maps of key pirate locales, including hideaways, tips on how to talk like a pirate, what to do if you fall overboard, and much, much more. Yes, no, maybe so asks and answers hundreds of questions that kids think about. Some questions have simple answers and other questions, well, it's complicated. This book tackles head scratching, sometimes serious and sometimes totally wacky, questions whose answers aren't always so black and white. The book features Nat Geo's vibrant photographs, snackable fun facts and in-depth, easy to understand answers to mind blowing questions. It also has interviews with experts wrestling big questions like, what will the toys of tomorrow look like? And how do you find a dinosaur in the middle of the desert? And the truth behind myths busted. By the way, no, your eyes won't pop out of your head if you keep them open when you sneeze. <laughs> Greeking Out Heroes and Olympians is a follow-up to last year's best-selling Greeking Out with 20 brand new tongue-in-cheek tales from Greek mythology. Told in the hilarious kid-friendly voice that sent the Webby award-winning Greeking Out podcast to the top of the charts, 18 million downloads and counting, these stories of heroic victories, perilous adventures, and plain old mischief are sure to delight kids and adults alike. And of course, fans of the Percy Jackson series will also love discovering the real myths behind their favorite and least favorite characters. From sounding out big words like propulsion, meteorite, and even extraterrestrial, to simplifying big concepts like gravity and atmosphere, big words for little astronauts is the perfect launching pad for kids who absolutely love all things space. It features more than 50 wow-worthy words, each with a definition and phonetic pronunciation, helping your little explorer sound like an expert in no time. Cosmic illustrations, fascinating photos, and a lovable character, Grover the Rover, you can see him down there in the corner, will keep every space-loving kid engaged and wanting more. And with the seal of approval from Katherine Sullivan, former, former astronaut and the first American woman to walk in space for NASA, readers can trust that the content is coming straight from the source. The James Webb Space Telescope gives us never before seen glimpses of space, showing us the birth and death of stars and galaxies, helping scientists find Earth-like planets, and even revealing asteroids closer to home. This book explains the amazing science of the telescope in a fun and accessible way, helping kids understand the big questions the telescope will help us answer. The book contains, of course, beautiful photographs taken by the telescope. I mean, look at that, wow. All with kid-friendly kid -friendly captions. They'll learn how the telescope works, how it was built, read stories about the team behind it and the science that made it possible, discover fun facts about the telescope and meet real NASA astronauts. So next we have some new titles in some of our fat, favorite Nat Geo uh, nonfiction series. So our National Geographic Reader Series continues with something for literally every reader in both English and Spanish. This year, we also have two five book bind up collections of some of our most popular titles, animals and sea creatures. But I did want to call out one reader in particular. This is the first book in a new collaboration between National Geographic Kids and Marvel. So with colorful photographs, iconic character illustrations from Marvel Comics, and hilarious commentary by beloved Avengers, learning has never been this fun. In this new reader, you'll meet high jumping spiders, beetles with extreme armor, 
and even bugs with super stink, all alongside the familiar and beloved Marvel heroes. Now, there are more than 40 titles and 7 million books in print in the Weird But True series, and we have three more great installments this year. All the books in the series are created by National Geographic contributors, including researchers, photographers, content experts, and educational special specialists. Now, given that 2024 is a big election year, we decided to give the topic of the U.S. government the weird but true know-it-all treatment. Readers will gain a wealth of practical knowledge about our government, including the roles of each branch and how things get done. They'll also be wowed by a ton of weird but true information, like funny laws in some states. In one, it's illegal to kill Bigfoot. I mean, as it should be, but anyway. I digress. Did you know that a full-scale Millennium Falcon built for the Empire Strikes Back weighed 25 tons, more than the average whale shark? Or that Chewbacca's famous furry coat was made from goat and yak hair stitched together? Weird But True Star Wars is jam-packed with 300 out-of-this-world facts about a galaxy far, far away. And our blockbuster bestseller, Weird But True World, is back in a weirder-than-ever third edition. Every year, we update the book with 60% new content, photos, and incredible facts. Inside, the book goes continent by continent to explore the weirdest things the world has to offer through lively blurbs, zany maps, incredible photo spreads, stats, personality quizzes, and more. And lastly, I do want to share some fiction titles that shouldn't be missed. So first up is a spinoff from the best-selling fact-based fiction series, The Explorer Academy. Soon after Cruz, Sailor, Emmett, and Laney return for their second year at Explorer Academy, their sense of calm is shattered when Sailor's older sister goes missing. Amidst incredible expectation, expeditions excuse me, to far-flung destinations and competitive classes, Sailor bravely steps into the lead to discover how her sister's sudden disappearance may be linked to an illegal and deadly animal trafficking ring. And we have three new titles for our best-selling and award-winning Rick Riordan Presents imprint. Why a novel It Waits in the Forest is the first thriller from Rick Riordan Presents. Drawing from the darkest corners of Caribbean mythology, acclaimed author Sarah Das crafts a chilling care tale of magic murder and how far we'll go to protect what's ours. Pahua and the Dragon Secret is the sequel to Pahua and the Soul Stealer, which was the winner of the 2022 Mythopoic Fantasy Award for Children's Literature. 11-year-old mong girl Pahua Mua, with the help of her friends Miv, a talking cat, and Zong, a shaman in training, defeated Zob, the god of wrath, destruction, and thunder. But now she has to retrieve some metallic dragon scales to reinforce his weakened prison cell. The Dark Becomes Her by number one New York Times bestselling Judy I. Lin ventures into horror in this sinister tale inspired by Chinese and Taiwanese mythology. Ruby Chen has always played the part of the dutiful eldest daughter, but when her once sweet, funny sister Tina has been replaced by something dark and unnatural, Ruby races to save her sister from demonic possession. And on the off chance you hadn't heard, there will be a new Percy Jackson and the Olympians title coming in September as Percy continues his quest for college recommendation letters. And of course, we are so thrilled that the Disney Plus Percy Jackson show has been picked up for a second season. And lastly, I'm excited to bring you three new titles from our newest imprint, Freedom Fire, which is headed by the New York Times bestselling author of the Tristan Strong series, Kwame Mbalia. Freedom Fire is dedicated to celebrating and uplifting Black voices and Black stories. So first up is Moco Magic Carnival Chaos. From the best-selling author of the Jumbie series comes an Afro-Caribbean inspired story about three cousins who discover their Mocos, protector spirits, during carnival season in Brooklyn. Next is Jax Freeman and the Phantom Shriek, a unique magic school fantasy from Kwame Amalia. On his 12th birthday, Jackson, Jax Freeman, arrives at Chicago's Union Station alone, carrying nothing but the baggage of a scandal back in Raleigh. At his new school, Jax is assigned to a special class for summoners, even though he has no idea what those are, until he accidentally unleashes an angry spirit on school grounds. And finally, Black Girl Power is a vibrant, heartwarming collection of 15 middle grade stories and poems that celebrates the joy, strength, and experience of Black girlhood, including stories from E.B. Zaboy, Sharon M. Draper, and it's edited by Leah Johnson. That's it for me. Thank you so much for taking the time today. We don't always get all of our nonfiction titles up on NetGalley and Adelweiss, but we try to post as many as we can. But of course, if you need anything, feel free to reach out to me. Thanks. Thank you so much, Dina. We will now hear from Maisha Johnson. Maisha currently works at Scholastic in the trade marketing department, where she is the manager of educational and event marketing. With over 15 years of publishing experience, beginning at Scholastic as a marketing assistant, Maisha has worked her way through the ranks from marketing coordinator to assistant manager and project manager. After working at Houghton Mifflin Harcourt as manager of events for five years, 
She has returned to Scholastic Children's Books, where she affectionately refers to her journey as returning home. Her love of books and enthusiasm for working with authors is what keeps her going. Thank you for being here today, Maisha. Thank you for having me. Hello, everybody. I'm happy to be here with you all today. Thank you so much for having not only me, but all of us here to present our books. I am Aisha Johnson, like you said, and I work in the trade division at Scholastic, focusing on the school and library team. As some of you may know, Scholastic Library Publishing is a small division within Scholastic that publishes series nonfiction that usually um, is aligned with curriculum-based topics. SLP usually releases books twice a year in the spring and fall, with an average of about 50 to 60 titles a year. Today, I'm going to introduce to you five series of books by SLP that is planned for spring 2024. These book, books are all now on sale. And after that, I'll give you a quick sneak, sneak peek of what's coming in the fall of 24. So let's get started. Learn about animals just discovered. I will start with a question. Do you know how many million species of plants and animals there are on earth? I have the answer. Expert esti experts estimate there are about 8 million. And do you know how many of these have been found, named, and classified? I have the answer to that too. Only about 1.2 million, or in other words, 15%. This means that approximately 85% of species on Earth remain undiscovered. Isn't that surprising? The truth, though, is that this percentage is constantly shrinking because scientists discover thousands of new species every year. The first set of books I'm introducing today belongs to our vibrant series, Learn About, for grade, grades K through two and ages five to seven. This new set of our books about animals gives readers a close up look into some of the most fascinating new species that have been found on earth in the past few years. As you can see on the screen, we have included four titles, just discovered amphibians, fish, mammals, and reptiles. After a short introduction explaining how scientists discover new animals, each book explores five new species of animals. Look at the amazing Rose Veil Fairy Wrasse on screen, recently discovered in the Indian Ocean in Asia. Or the Mashpee Grass Frog, with its transparent belly discovered in 2022 in the rainforest of South America. For each species, the book explains how, where, and when it was found, along with its habitat, diet, and survival skills. All, as with all of our books, there are curriculum connections, in this case, this series reinforces grouping, sorting, and compare and contrast skills, as well as animal classification, which aligns with elementary science curriculum. The text is leveled and the books have table of contents, captions, glossary, and an index, all features that build nonfiction skills. These books are packed with big, bold, eye-catching photographs with engaging layouts that will allow our readers to learn all about these exciting new species in the natural world. The fast facts spread around the books will keep readers engaged. As a bonus, the back matter also includes a mini biography of a scientist who works looking for new species. This is an informative real life connection, but it also tells the reader, hey, you can do that too. You can be the next person to, to discover a new species. We are inspiring our readers for, um, to have observational skills. This series is a really cool way to encourage respect, for nature and the environment, and at the same time, foster a sense of wonder about the natural world and our little readers. As we speak, many of the 85% of species in the world that are discovered are also disappearing. And many of them will probably go extinct before we can even name them. We need to make sure children value and respect the natural world. And this series of books with a very positive take on world, di for world diversity will, will be proof to what a great tool this is for that. Learn about your best self. Social, social emotional learning continues to be among the biggest buzzwords for the parents and educators. A relatively recent article in Education Week explains the fact that there is no consensus about what the term really means, but it offers several definitions by several experts. This was my favorite. SEL creates empathetic, contributing, resilient humans who can withstand even the most powerful storm. Why am I telling you this? Our next series of books, Learn About Your Best Self is here to help our readers become SEL champs. I can be kind, brave, a good friend, and honest. 
Written in first person, each book in the series has a different protagonist that shares with the readers what it means for them to be kind, brave, a good friend, and honest. On each spread, the narrators explore different familiar situations, familiar situations at school and at home, and by doing so, they encourage our readers to recognize, understand, express, and navigate these situations. Let's look at some spreads. This is Alina from the book, I Can Be Kind. And she tells us, I can be kind by saying good morning to mommy and daddy. As you can see, the text is simple and actionable. This is also Alina later in the book when she explains she can be kind by asking a friend to help her move ladybugs off the playground so they don't get squished. Kylie from the book, I Can Be Honest, tells us when she is at the library that she can be honest about which book she wants to pick. Even though her friends all like one series, it's okay to be honest and say she likes something completely different. Again, simple and actionable. At the end of each book, we have two back matter sections that encourage our little readers together with an adult to explore and put into practice the situations they just learned about. Learning social skills is a key element of early childhood education. All the experts in the Education Week article I mentioned earlier agree that. Even if there's no consistent consensus on a definition, it is urgent to include more SEL in school curriculums. Demand, the demand for books that fall under SEL umbrella will go on because parents and educators will continue to need them. From being brave, honest, and kind to being good friends, these, book, these books will help readers meet their very best self and maybe yours too. Wild world, day and night. Okay, everybody. Now, close your eyes. I want you to come with me to spend 24 hours in a tropical rainforest. It is early morning. Can you hear the very loud call of the macaws? A few hours go by and now it's the afternoon. Can you hear the chatter of the squirrel monkeys? At dusk, can you hear the insects humming? Now it is pitch dark outside. We are in the middle of the night. Can you hear the croaking sounds of the tree frogs? Okay, you may open your eyes now. Back to the book list webinar. <laughs> I hope you were able to see how the rainforest changes. And as the days go by, many books out there, out there describe world habitats and how they are different from one another. But there are almost no books out there that explain how one specific habitat can be different when the sun shines and when the stars are out. The books in, the, the books in this vibrant series do just that. We have four titles coming. Habitats Night and Day. Arctic, desert, ocean, and tropical rainforest. Each of these books start with a general explanation of the habitats and the animals and plants that live there. After that, the books zero in on the differences between day and night in the desert, for example. The temperature can, be, can reach about 100 degrees Fahrenheit during the day, but then drop drastically when the sun sets. After this, the books move on to describe what different iconic animals from each habitat do as the day goes by. Meerkats, for example, are the first ones to wake up in the African desert. Contrarily, ghost-faced bats are active as the sun sets. We have included a table of contents, photos, captions, glossary, and an index in all of these books to help readers recognize and learn how to use nonfiction text features. These books have strong curricular ties to science and the natural world. And these books also belong to a series called Wild World. Take a look at all the wild world, wild world sets and covers on the screen. Big and small animals, fast and slow animals, pets and wild animals, and hot and cold animals. All the books in the wild world, wild world series are specifically created to build, compare, and contrast skills, offering a unique perspective to discover the animal world. Habitats Day and Night is, perfect, is a perfect addition to the wild world series. True Book Green Feature. Green Future. Climate change is no longer an interesting topic to talk about or a good thing to teach kids. The last reports are clear. We have 10 years left to act. We want to avoid dire and irreversible climate scenarios. We must change. Climate change is real and it is here. The way we move from one place to another must change. The way we shelter must change. The way we grow our food and the way we secure our energy must change. Where can we get started? It is imperative to educate our younger generations. We need, them, we need to give them tools that help them promote this necessary shift as they get older. At the same time, we do not want to scare them. We need to be positive and help them envision a bright future. 
In response to this distressing and difficult situation, we have included a new STEM-based subset in our long-standing true book series called The Green Future. Green transportation, homes, farming, and green energy are the four books we have included. All of them introduce children ages eight to 11 to the engineering innovations that can help us reach our common goal and a green future. In the title Green Transportation, for example, we explain how electric cars and solar powered planes and poop fuel trucks, yep, I said it, poop, work, and we show how these technological advances in transportation can bring us even closer to a green future. In Green Homes, we go over small changes that can make our homes more environmentally friendly and also describe how new homes have to be built to have zero impact on the environment. In Green Farming, we explain how to make the practice of large-scale farming sustainable to be able to continue feeding the almost 8 billion people that call Earth home. And in Green Energy, we go over sustainable energy methods that will ensure a green future, solar power, wind power, geothermal energy, biofuel, biofuel etc. On our screen, you can see a chapter opener for the Green Homes book. And here's an interior spread for the same book. All of these books feature cutting edge technological innovations that should soon be a growing part of our everyday lives. A section in the middle of the book called Big Truths brings to light an interesting and sometimes controversial topic about the theme covered, encouraging readers to dig deeper, think critically and learn more. A back matter section called Spot On showcases the latest innovations and coolest examples of each subject. Another back section, back matter section called Take Action encourages kids to put greener practices into use. As with all of our true books, interesting information is presented in a fun, friendly way and in the simplest terms possible with lots of real world, real world examples. Very compelling artworks and diagrams illustrate every page. And all the books feature a pictorial timeline, a table of contents, captions, sidebars, glossary, index, and further reading that expose readers to classic library nonfiction text features. Books around climate change, climate change are vital to ensure a healthy earth for ourselves and future generations. We must change, and this series is a tool that can make change happen. True Books, Your Amazing Body. Did you know that our hearts beat at about 100,000 times a day? Did you know we breathe in and out about 22,000 times a day? Or that our five senses flood the brain with 11 million bits of information per second? Did you know a 15 long tube or layered skin inside our bodies digests our food? Or that 600 muscles in our body help us walk, run, and stay alive? These are all things that happen to most of us every day without even noticing. Simply put, the human body is amazing. In this new set of true books, we offer an in-depth look at the remarkable machines that host our souls, one system at a time. We have five titles coming. Circulatory system, respiratory, muscular, digestive, and nervous systems. These books explain how these systems work, show its anatomy and physiology, and also take a look at some of the most common problems associated with them. I'm really excited to share that the title Nervous System has received a star review in April 1st edition of Booklist. On screen, we can see a beautiful introduction spread of the book Respiratory System. As true books, they all have features I already explained for the previous series, table of contents, sidebars, timelines, glossary, index, et cetera. Compelling artworks and lots of colorful diagrams illustrate every page. The big truth in this subset called teamwork explains how all these systems work together to keep us alive. A back matter section called The Doctor is In introduces some of the medical professionals who care for each of our systems as some of the tools they use to diagnose. A second back matter section called Healthy Habits for Life provides simple, actionable advice on how to keep our amazing body systems in top shape. The human body systems are part of the school curriculum for ages three to five in most U.S. states, and the five body systems we have included are the most commonly taught. We love this series, and we hope you do too. A quick preview now for our Fall 25 spread. I'm going to give you is um, coming in Fall 24 under Scholastic Library Publishing. We have three really exciting new sets of books in this series. Learn about um, for grades K through two. The first one is about animals doing very unexpected things. One book features unexpected swimmers like pigs. The, um, the other one is unexpected flyers like the flying frog, unexpected talkers like the huskies, and unexpected players like sheep. Really cool and fun for young readers. Because it will be fall, we will also include a learn about subset about this season. It will have four titles, apples, holidays, pumpkins, and leaves. 
colorful books to help teachers and librarians explain what it is, what, what is fall. And next, we're going to include four more titles and exciting that I just told you about called your best self. This time around, the titles will be called I Can Be Positive, Grateful, Respectful, and I Can Be Me. Engaging and colorful and actionable as the first set. Moving to older readers, we'll have a new subset of beautiful true books for grades three to five called The Earth at Risk. Each of these five titles will introduce our readers to the effects climate change is having on Earth's biomes. And to finish, we are excited that we're publishing in Spanish the 10 titles included in the best-selling Match Counts. The series name in Spanish is Las Matemáticas Cuentan. This series explains this is this series explains in an engaging and visual way foundational math concepts such as numbers, patterns, shapes, sizes, and counting. The first five books will be published this fall and the other five in spring 25. That's all for today. I am Aisha Johnson and my contact information is on screen as well as our editorial contact, Joanna. I'm now going to turn it over back to Booklet. Thank you so much for your attention. Thank you so much, Maisha. Next, we are going to hear from Carolina Schwartz. Carolina is a children's publishing consultant with 20 years of experience in marketing, sales, and content development. Through We the Content, um, she has worked with publishers of different sizes from Europe, Latin America, and the US, developing systems that generate ongoing demand for their titles and reduce returns, ultimately putting more books into the hands of young readers. The floor is yours, Carolina. Hello, thank you so much uh, for being here with us today. Today, I'm gonna uh, introduce you to Albatross and share some of their uh, nonfiction titles. You can move on to the next slide. And first of all, um, since Albatross is relatively new, I thought I would give you a very quick rundown on um, their editorial line and their, a little bit of their history. Albatross Media specializes in children's books with original and innovative formats well known around the world. These books are playful like a toy and edu educative at the same time, aiming to develop young readers' curiosity and thirst for knowledge. The flagship imprint, imprint Albatross, which was one of the seven co-founders of the Bologna Book Fair in 1964, was established in 1949 and has played an essential part in the history of Czech literature for children since. And in the United States, they've been here for uh, since 2021, publishing about 25 titles a year. Now I'm going to share with you some of the nonfiction titles so we can move on to the next slide. The awesome physics in your home. Did you know that physics is hidden in our everyday lives and our homes from the kitchen to the bathroom? This fun nonfiction title guarantees an engaging and enlightening journey into the realm of physics. Readers will step into an extraordinary world with this fully illustrated book that reveals the physics that surround us in our everyday life and within the comfort of our home, thereby transforming the mundane into the extraordinary. By exploring real life situations in the kitchen, the living room, the garage, bathroom, and garden, this book demystifies complex scientific concepts through relatable scenarios and provides safe hands-on experiments for curious young minds. With striking visuals as well as UV spot lamination on the cover, this comprehensive guide also includes a glossary with clear explanations of key terms. The Awesome Physics in Your Home is authored by the Amazing Theater of Physics, which is an entertainment and educational group that performs science experiments to show people how the world around us works in a very fun and exciting way. They're like magicians, only they explain how their tricks work. They started performing in 2008 and traveled around the world with their show, performing in a wide range of venues from theaters, town squares, to schools, churches, synagogues, and retirement homes. In short, this book is purely hands-on learning. Moving on, we have Space Mania. Dive into a fully illustrated comprehensive encyclopedia that unveils the wonders of the universe from its cosmic origins to celestial bodies and interplanetary exploration. 
Written by a passionate planetary scientist dedicated to popularizing science, this comprehensive guide introduces young readers to the cosmos. From enigmatic origins of our universe to the vast realms of stars, constellations, and planetary exploration, this guide serves as a gateway to the wonders of space by delving into the captivating stories of celestial bodies, interplanetary missions, and the quest to understand our universe. This is a solid foundation in astronomy, simplifying abstract astronomical concepts so that they are clear, tangible, and accessible. Every page is adorned with realistic illustrations that breathe life into the mysteries of space, creating an immersed experience. With its striking visual appeal and in-depth information, it's the ideal resource for budding astronomers, space enthusiasts, and kids with any level of interest in the heart science igniting a lifelong passion for space exploration and science scientific discovery. The Secret Lives of Forest is a clear eco-educational title. With Little Seed as our guide, come discover the interconnected world of trees, animals, and fungi in this informative, fun-filled, illustrated book for kids. Journey into the heart of the forest to explore its enchanting ecosystem with our fun and fact-filled friend Little Seed as our guide. In this fully illustrated book, we will explore the hidden wonders of the forest from its majestic trees to the bustling community of animals and fungi that call it home. Uncover the intricate web of connections that sustain this vibrant interconnected ecosystem where every creature has a vital role to play and everyone must work together. This introduction to ecology will spark curiosity and environmental awareness, presenting fascinating facts that turn learning into an enjoyable experience. Designed for inquisitive young minds and nature enthusiasts alike, it nurtures a profound love for the natural world. And speaking of the natural world, Nature, Why We Need to Care for Our Planet is a book that is rich in colorful illustrations and full of opportunities for vocabulary building. Young readers will embark on an inspiring ecological journey to learn about the importance of protecting our planet. Through a series of captivating stories, Kids can learn about topics such as biodiversity, deforestation, and how each and every person can make a positive impact on our environment. Each page is filled with illustrations that vividly bring to life the natural world, world from lush green forests to deep blue oceans. The stories and images create a powerful and inspiring message about the beauty and fragility of our planet. Young readers are encouraged to think deeply, deeply about their own impact and the environment and are asked to consider important questions about how they can make a difference. Some of the, select, some of the sections included in this book are our lifestyle, connection, modern life, ecological footprints, and what can we do for you, Earth? In short, this book is perfect for children who are curious about the world around them and who want to make positive difference in their communities and beyond. Famous finds and finders. In this junior library guild selection, young adventurers embark on a journey featuring 40 historical discoveries from tiny artifacts to entire cities, including the people and circumstances behind their uncovery. Famous Finds and Finders take, takes young readers ages 9 th through 12 on an adventurous journey back through time as they learned about the field of archaeology and its role in uncovering the secrets of our past. Emphasizing the importance of preserving and recording moments in history, it encourages children to consider their own place in the ongoing story of humanity. Kids would also learn about the tools and techniques that archaeologists and paleontologists use, as well as about the challenges they face in uncovering fragments of the past buried in the ground or under the ocean. The discoveries are divided into five, into the following five categories across 88 pages of rich content. People and animals, towns and cities, works of art, under the sea and underground. Now let's go back in time at three titles in the Unfolding the Past series. In this immersive books, six fold-up maps 
take kids on a deep exploration of history's most significant civilizations. Today, we will focus on ancient Rome for kids, but we invite you to check out, check out ancient Greece for kids and ancient Egypt for kids as well. And you have the information right there. In this, this book brings to life the rich tapestry of this vast historic civilization, its vibrant culture, fascinating gods, legendary gladiators, and the rise and fall of its, of its mighty empire. These detailed maps provide a hands-on experience, making history come alive with vivid visuals and engaging facts. Children will walk in the sandals of ancient Romans, unraveling the secrets of everyday life and dipping their toes into the complex world of politics, trade, and military might. Ancient Rome for Kids is the perfect getaway for young learners ages six to nine to connect with history in a fun and interactive way. By delving into the wonders of ancient Rome, children will gain historical knowledge and develop a curiosity for world history, sparking their imagination and igniting a passion for lifelong learning. And what about something for the little ones? Well, our next two titles from the Read and Spot series are perfect for them. These two titles have cutouts with peep holes, perfect for developing fine motor skills, as well as fun activities to foster knowledge acquisition, as well as social emotional learning. In Fruit and Vegetables, Bella takes her friend Sam on a tour of her family's farm, where they learn about growing fruits and vegetables. Through their journey, readers will be introduced to the various crops and how they're grown, as well as the different animals that share the farm. Along the way, the book encourages readers to participate in a search and fun game, keeping them engaged in and interested in the story. This beautifully illustrated book not only entertains children, it also educates them about the importance of farming, healthy eating habits, and sustainability. Through the use of bold and colorful illustrations, the book also teaches children about colors and numbers, making it an excellent addition to early childhood learning programs. And then the four seasons. The next title in the Read and Spot series, in this engaging story, young readers will learn about the four seasons in the different, um, we can move, there you go. Uh, we'll learn about the four seasons in the and the different types of weather that, they, that accompany each one. Talia and her beloved pets, Coco the cat and Moon the dog will take children on a journey through the year, exploring the unique characteristics of each season and how they impact the world around us. Along the way, children will discover interesting facts about the earth and the sun and why we have seasons and, and why we have seasons. We can move on to the next. And finally, let's work on prepositions of place. With very simple explanation, lots of fun, colorful illustrations, as well as durable formats, thanks to heavy stock paper. We can move to the next one, Taylor. Thank you. Worlds About Where uses visual examples to teach children how to use eight basic prepositions of place in everyday situations. These are in, on, under, above, next to, between, behind, and in front of. Having been introduced to these eight basic prepositions of place, the child then remembers them and learns to use them in everyday life. Each preposition contains a visual aid showing a blue box and a red ball or multiple balls located somewhere in relation to, that is to say, in, on, under, above, next to, between, behind, in front of the box. Each preposition takes up a page featuring the visual aid plus a large representative image on the left and four additional examples of the use of the preposition on the right. Through this simple method of repetition, children will learn to, com to commit the prepositions to memory. But this learning process doesn't have to be boring. In addition to the visual examples, this book also includes a little game at the end titled Welcome to a Room. Can you tell where everything is? To help reinforce the concepts they learned. With its fun approach and helpful exercises, this book makes prepositions easy and enjoyable to learn. Thank you so much uh, for joining us today and back to you, Ronnie, at Booklist. Thank you very much, Carolina. Finally, we will hear from Anna Erickson. 
Anna has worked in children's book publishing for over 25 years and is stubbornly convinced that all children deserve access to high quality reading material. Imagine that. She is based in Oakland, California. Take it away, Anna. Thank you, Ronnie. Thanks so much to Booklist for hosting today. Um, it's great to talk about new books at any time. All right. The Creative Company, as many of you know, is an independent company that's been based in Southern Minnesota since 1932. We publish books for pre-K all the way through high school. And in addition to our own publishing, we represent several other independent publishers, including Amicus, Black Rabbit Books, and Brown Bear Books. Um, we're going to start today with Amicus. Amicus means friend in Latin, and that is the defining characteristic of everything they do. They bring a sense of accessibility, friend friendliness and diversity to books for the youngest kids, those who are graduating from the emergent to transitional reading phases. The earliest series they do, the youngest series they do is called Spot. And Spot has been a wide reaching brand now for several years. It talk, tackles different subjects, different topics each season. And this season we have two new series. All of the Spot books, which are 16 page books, written at the kindergarten to first grade level, include this search and find feature. So every book is set up with this framework. And in each book, you're inviting, you're invited to spot four keywords and four photographic details as you work through the text. These are true low level texts, um, but they're really well written. They are meant to be read as text in addition to enjoyed as imagery and a beautifully designed presentation to the topics at hand. So um, in addition to the biome series, this series, we also have rainforest animals. And um, you get a sense of just the vivid photos that are used in these in the clean, clear design. These books, as well as everything we're seeing today, are available as hardcover, library-bound hardcovers and eBooks. Um, many of them are also available in paperback, and about 80% of our list is now translated into Spanish. So you'll see on the downloadable title list the full range of options for today's titles. Next today from Amicus is Curious About, and Curious About is just that. It is inquiry-based series nonfiction, in other words, Q&A. Um, because this is amicus, these Q&A um, presentations are really well done. They've just got a nice narrative arc rather than um, kind of a random series of questions. These are books written at the second grade level in a 24-page format. And like Spot, Curious About covers a whole range of topics. So this season, we're headed out into the great outdoors. Um the key thing about this series, I think, is that it presents the questions from the child's eye perspective. That's a defining characteristic throughout the amicus list, but particularly in this series. So whatever the topic is, it's not about what is it like to do this activity, um, for example, as a grown-up or even as a big kid, but what is it like to do it as a seven-year-old? Um, same thing with the new robotic set. The questions really zero in on what the interest is, what the um, what the questions would be from the seventh and eighth eight year olds. You'll see in this program that um, it's got a carefully written text and great images and some infographics. It's not overloaded with the infographics, but really well balanced. So a little extra context, a little extra compare and contrast within each of the series. One of the most really exciting parts of Amicus in recent years has been Amicus Illustrated. This is an imprint that has allowed Amicus to explore narrative nonfiction in some really thoughtful ways because it's using illustration um, for books written at the second and third grade level. Um, they've been able to do some interesting things. Um, many of you will know Making Good Choices, for example, which is a choose your own adventure, choose your next um, move kind of setup for SEL books. Um, another series in recent years has been My Life With. Uh, My Life With is written by veteran author Mari Shu. Many of you know her well. And for each of these books, Mari has worked with and interviewed in depth an individual child. 
The series began with featuring kids who live with specific physical conditions, but it is now expanding to include kids who are living in particular situations, dealing with specific life circumstances. What's interesting about this series is that while certainly no one person, no one kid's experience represents everyone, the first person perspective that Mari captures with these interviews really brings a level of immediacy and authenticity to these topics um, that I think allows them to bridge a lot of gaps. So these are books that are great if you are experiencing any one of these things, or if you know somebody who is and just are trying to find a way to talk to them thoughtfully um, and kind of not stick your foot in your mouth. So My Life With is an ongoing program. There's another set coming this fall and they're dealing with tough topics in a very sensitive way. What would happen if, on the other hand, uses humor in a very robust fashion to explore um, what happened during the pandemic? No, just kidding. Yes, many of us as adults may have lived this way for a time, but these books are for kids. These two are for second graders and they use humor, as I said, to, to just play out what would happen if you never slept, if you never took a bath, or what would happen if you only ate chocolate, which is a title that has just received a starred review from Booklist. So again, um, using a lot of humor to play out serious scenarios and serious information, these books are a first a first rate look at hygiene. Okay, over at Black Rabbit Books this season, Black Rabbit continues its mission to put high interest books in the hands of kids who may not be feeling fully confident with reading or books in general at this point. All of the Black Rabbit titles are really designed to get them excited about being in a book um, by using a high-low approach and again, very high interest topics. The hallmark of Black Rabbit is Bolt and Bolt uses a um, very broad interest range. These are books written at the third grade level, but of, of interest all the way up to sixth grade in a very robust 32 page format. So this season we have extreme sports with great images, a high level of infographics that really put a lot of information in imagery, pulling it out of text and reptile adventures. And I always smile because we all do single subject animal titles, but everybody does them differently. And inevitably Black Rabbit has some really sassy kind of in your face covers. They are also not afraid to get gross. This is high interest after all. Over on the hijink side, they use a 24 page format, again, written at a third grade level with a broad interest range to explore with humor, again, a lot of humor and a high degree of illustration, interesting topics such as gross, awesome history. Um, turns out it wasn't all fun and games in the olden days and this book takes you deep into how disgusting it actually was. Okay, and then last but not least today, the creative company itself, which publishes not only a beautiful list of picture books, but series nonfiction for pre-K all the way to high school, um, has a new set in their Seedlings brand. Seedlings are written for the first grade level in a 24-page format. They use a very friendly, accessible um, informational text presentation to get you excited, to get you in the mix, so to speak, for a world of learning as you progress through informational text through all your elementary, middle school and beyond. Um, Amazing Animals, our flagship series within um, the creative company will be back in 2025. But in the meantime, let's get ready for the Olympics with an amazing summer Olympic set. These are books that are about eight of the most popular sports. They're not about the individual participants, though there is a feature bio within each one, but about the sports themselves. And speaking of sports, we have a fully updated series of World Series champions. These are books for fans. So 24 titles in this set. These are 24 page books written at the third grade level. And they take you through the full history of each team, every town they've ever played in. Their pivotal games, key players, you name it. Lots of photos all the way through. 
And last but not least today is Living Wild. Living Wild is a single subject animal series for older kids. So these are 48 page books for middle school, sixth grade and up. Um, and these take you not only into the science of each animal featured, but really branch out to include social studies, history, fine arts, and even pop culture. They cross curriculums in a really lovely way, um, but the animals reign supreme. That's it from us today, and I'll pass it back to Booklist. Thanks so much. Thanks, Anna. And thanks to everybody. That was really great. I learned a lot just from being on a webinar. It's awesome. Tomorrow, all attendees will receive an email containing links to today's slide presentation, title list, certificate of completion, and video recording. For more about Booklist webinars, be sure to visit booklistonline.com slash webinars, where you can view archives of past webinars and register for upcoming ones like those you see here. Staff training, in-services, local conference, Booklist can help. You can now request free copies of Booklist and Booklist Reader for upcoming staff training programs so you can help the next generation of library workers become Reader's Advisory and Collection Development superstars. Scan the QR code on the screen, visit our website, or email info at booklistonline.com for more details. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar, and one more big thanks to our panelists and to our sponsors, Disney Publishing, Scholastic, Albatross, and The Creative Company. This concludes today's webinar.